Okay, g'day. Norm here, back again from Cookie's Fish Room. Actually outside today, um, part of my backyard, where I will be doing something different with you guys, and um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So today, I'm gonna to show you uh, the start of a mini pond that I'm putting together. It's not a um, massive pond, swimming pool, like my good friend Michael from Michael's Fish Room does. This is just a tiny, what we call a tiny pond, um, aka okay, mini ponds, to just to have for looks in this area, because this is just a little tiny green space, as you can see, where I've got lots of plants, it's undercover, and it's very, very nice to relax in this area, getting an actual um, nice bench to put next to the mini pond, which I will show you soon, um, just to come out here to read a book or to sit down on my phone and to answer all your problems you may have. So, um, I spend a lot of time, obviously, on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, just to get ideas sometimes of different fish I have not seen to buy, different guppies, guppies is my thing, endless, and ways to aquascape my tank. So with COVID, getting a little bit bored of totally rescaping the same tank all the time and um, looking at the same fish, to be honest, so I thought I'll do something a little bit different. A lot of people do this during the year, uh, during spring and summer, just to have the pond there for during the warmer months. But this one will be heated, and I intend of keep on keeping it out here all year as long as I can, especially that it's covered. And we have um, a wind barrier over here, and I'll show you now quickly where the pond lies. If you give me a sec, okay, the pond's over here. So this is my mini pond. It's uh, it's actually a tub if you want to have a quick look. It's just sitting down on a slab of concrete. It's a, a big tub, a bucket. It's about 25 gallons, I think, from memory. And I've just put in now, well, last night, I filled it up with water that's ready to go. Um, rocks from an established old pond that has all the all the good stuff in it. Uh, red root floaters, and I can't remember the name of this plant for the life of myself. Getting old, memory ain't good. So, yeah, a heater will be in it, and and some air stones with, um, to give it plenty of aeration, and that will be a solar, solar setup, but the heater obviously won't be, and I've got a PowerPoint waiting for it right there next to it conveniently. So, hopefully, this should be up and running this week, and I'll start stocking it after I do my water testing, of course, to make sure all the the readings are right. Um, I'll probably start stocking it next week, assuming it's all good, and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some more beautiful, pretty mutts I will be breeding out of this very soon. But for starters, I'm going to add in some more bottom plants because, to be honest, it's pretty bare down there. Um, probably trying to get my hands on some grappy, guppy grass. Ugh. Guppy grass, not grappy gu grass. Thing is, the sun's only over here, probably for four hours a day. So I don't know if that's going to be enough. So I'm going to install a solar, solar panel light above it to help with that. A very strong LED one. And fingers crossed that will get me through majority of the year. Sorry if this is wobbly. I've never had to do this outside before. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep everybody updated with what's going on. Um, the progress of the tank. Uh, if you could do me a huge favour, please hit the subscribe button. The notification bell. Please, please, please watch this video to the end of it. Uh, and join us on Facebook if you can. Have a search at Four Cookies Fish Room. Um, we've got a great team there. We'll help you with any problem you may have. And at the same time, we're also on Instagram if you want to give us a follow under Cookies Fish Room. I can be reached there if you want to DM me if you have any problems. If you like any of our fish pictures, hit the love heart. And hopefully, I will see all of you guys again real soon. So once again, thank you for tuning in. Um, hopefully, 
I will see you guys with the next video and something uh, more, a little bit different than this one this time, but there will be updates on this pond. Take care. See you later.